When we humans think about a trip to Mars, very often what we think about is staying there. Unlike the moon, which only took a couple of guys a couple of days, a Mars mission will take a minimum of 21 months. That's 21 months of humans doing all the things humans do, which is why it's time we had a serious talk about sex in space. Before their 1992 mission, two Americans, Jan Davis and Mark Lee, married in secret, making them both the first and so far only married astronaut couple in space. So did they or didn't they? You know, do it. NASA says no. NASA says no humans have ever had sex in space. But why? For one thing, NASA's missions have been grounded in work culture. And since sex with coworkers is potentially a little awkward, astronauts appear to have avoided it. But what Mars missions imply is a shift from space being a place where you work to space being a place where you live, which means likely a place where you have sex and children. And what little we do know about sex and reproduction in space suggests that there could be some pretty big problems with that. So back in 2000, the director of an adult film company tried shooting a sex scene in microgravity. But there's no actual footage of this event, so it's probably safe to say that humans haven't even had sex in simulated weightlessness. But as far as sex in actual space goes, there is a small list of creatures who've joined that 200-mile high club. It includes fruit flies, parasitic wasps, Japanese freshwater fish, and rats. Beginning in the late 1960s, NASA launched the Biosatellite Program, which attempted to study the effects of radiation and microgravity by sending animals into space. That program taught us that sex in space wasn't so easy. The fruit flies? They took almost twice as long to get around to mating. The male parasitic wasps? They got disoriented and had trouble finding females. The program also presented some of the earliest evidence for genetic damage and sexual reproduction problems that space can cause. To date, there have been no successful start to finish mammalian pregnancies in space. That's right, zero. Now, when it comes to us, what do we know about how being in space affects our reproductive anatomy? Well, for starters, Given the greater numbers of men sent, one might assume we'd know a little something about how microgravity affects erections. But we don't, because that research simply hasn't been done. And the research on women? It's even thinner. As of 2015, out of all the astronauts and cosmonauts who've made it to space, only 11% have been women. So, for instance, we know women can menstruate normally while they're up there. But lots of them use birth control to prevent their periods from happening. And that renders an already small pool of potential data even smaller. Talking about sex can be funny. And talking about sex can be hard. But the implications are singular, and they're fundamental to life as we know it. Because when we think about a future beyond Earth, sex is really central to this core question. Do we need this planet to survive?